Hello everyone. So let's continue and understand another important command that is sed. Sed is a streamline editor which lets you to edit file with commands. We have a lot of options with sed which can you know let you to edit any file with no need of any text editor. So sed is very important if you want to build up your career as a shell scripter then you should know sed and awk so let's understand about sed sed command in unix is stands for stream editor and it can perform a lot of functions on file like uh, searching find replace insertion deletion so all these things we can do with the sed so sed is just like a powerful text editor we can say that which can used to do some insertion deletion search replace so let me move towards my linux box and do some practice so that you can understand more on that so here i have created one file so this is the file i have created and in that file you can see you know few you know text is there so let me do some practice with set command so that you can understand how we can use the set command so this is my file test okay so what i'm doing to do in the file you can see that unix is a great os unix is an open source unix is free os learn operating system unix something i have written in this file and you can see that unix word has come in almost in every line suppose i want to you know replace or substitute unix with some other word how we can do that said i want that substitute unix with a linux and my file you can see that the unix from each line it has been replaced with linux so here you can see that the first line was unix is a great os here it has been replaced with linux but only for the first occurrence if in a line if we have twice time unix so it will do the changes only for the first time second unix in the same line it will not done it has come to the next line there is no you know unix was there and here you can see that unix was there it has been replaced with linux it was already linux so it has not done anything unix changed first occurrence second occurrence is not done if you want that it should done for the second occurrence so here you can do this one you have to put two and enter so it has changed on the second occurrence first occurrence unix it has not changed only for the second occurrence if you want that it should be done globally for everywhere where it founds this unix it should replace with linux you can put g here so it has changed wherever it found the linux so this is a powerful tool which can use to you know delete search and uh, insert anything on a file like this way we have another tool that is our awk tool so awk is also you know one of the most important you know command powerful method for processing or analyzing text files in particular data files that are organized by lines rows and columns so suppose you know if you have file in that file we have lot of you know columns and the rows are there so you can you know manipulate that file with the help of awk so let me show you how we can use the awk so i have a file this one which is having some you know not this one so this is a file which is having you know first line and second column first column second column now i want that it should print only the first column then how we can use print dollar 1 so it has printed only the first column now i want only it should print only second column or suppose you know in that file i am going to add few more things in that file some number i am adding here 
any number you can put any number you can put whatever you want I am just creating one column we can say that save now now again I am coming to this command I want to print the last you can do or suppose you know in that file a lot of columns are there you want to print the last one you can press NF so it will print the last column suppose you know I have this file and at the last line only two entries are there first column and second column so if you press this one it will print the last third column but in the last line last line there is no third column so that's why it has not printed okay and if you press this one so it will print for the last of everyone so this is the last here this is the last this is the last this is last and for this line this is the last so this is the difference between dollar nf so it will print the last of each line so this way you can use the awk command so basic I am just giving a basic idea about awk if you want to do more about awk you can check man and awk anytime because with awk and set we can do lot of things this is just an introduction I can say so friend that's all for this lecture in the next lecture we are going to understand few more commands thanks for watching and if you have time please join with me in the next lecture